These were our parents and grandparents, our own aunts and uncles. In their world, the America of the 1930s, something went desperately wrong, like a bad dream, a punishment, or a plague. I felt that we weren't going to make it. Certainly that I wasn't going to make it. I was convinced that I was going to die one night. They had nowhere to turn but to their families, their friends, and the kindness of strangers. They had no idea when it would end, how it would end, or even if it would end. We eat a lot of beans now. <laughs> a lot of people eat a lot of beans in the Depression. They saw grinding poverty and fabulous wealth side by side. Great armies of migrants on the move with nowhere to go. We were different. Uh, we were poor. We were dependent on people for help. And uh, a lot of the people in the, in the businesses called us filthy scum, dirty, rotten, stinking okies, and all that. Dirt farmers, maids, and titans of industry. In America's fields and factories, they fought terrible battles against each other. And in their fury, they must have asked themselves if democracy itself could survive. I don't think it. I know damn well they would have been a revolution in America if Roosevelt had not got elected. And I'd have been damn part of that revolution. They chose a rich man, a landed aristocrat disabled by polio, to help them redeem America. And you felt that this guy came and he was going to save the people. And a tremendous feeling for him. Holy hell, the people could kiss his, his toenails. That's how much they loved this guy. He saved capitalism. Whether this is a good thing or not, I'm not about to betray my sentiments, but he saved it. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear itself. Somehow, in the hardest of hard times, with America slipping away, our parents and grandparents found the courage to fight their way out. They clung to the hope that they could save America. That hope drove them to acts of heroism, drove them to take hold of their own destiny, to come together and make their nation work for them. Nothing turned out quite the way they planned. What began in the Roaring Twenties ended when war exploded in the Forties. They may have done an imperfect job. Some lost their nerve, and some gave their lives. But by the time the Great Depression was over, they had done better than simply save America. They had made a new America. And these are their stories.